In this lesson, we're going to go over using the terminal and installing Git. Depending on what computer you have, Git may or may not be pre-installed. But even if you already have Git installed, you may have an old version and you may want to update to the latest version. Throughout this lesson, I'm going to be using the Finder window and the terminal. The Finder window is probably quite a familiar place for most people, but the terminal may be new, so I'm just going to quickly introduce it. So the terminal is a place where you type in commands and make things happen on your computer or see information. When you first open up the terminal, it's going to look something like this. At the very top, you have the prompt, and it's made out of three parts. The name of your computer, where you are in the file system, and the name of your user, followed by a dollar sign and then a space where you can write commands. At the moment, we're in the home folder in our file system, and that's represented by this squiggly line. So the first command that we're going to use is git dash dash version. This is going to tell us whether we have git installed and which version we have installed. Another really helpful command that I'm going to be using is clear. This one just clears my terminal screen. So let's quickly see all of this in the terminal. So we can see that we're in the finder window and we're in the home folder. And in the terminal, I'm also in the home folder. And I've actually simplified my prompt in order to just keep things more simple. Now I'm going to type in git dash dash version. And we can see here that my git version is 2.23.0. Now I'll type in clear. And it clears my terminal screen. So in my case, I already have Git installed. But if you don't have Git installed, or if you want to update to the latest version, it's really easy to do. You simply have to go to the git-scm.com website. Then you go to the downloads. And you simply download the right version for your computer. So that's how you install Git. Just to quickly overview, in this lesson we covered what the terminal is and installing Git. That was it for this lesson. See you at the next one.